Hello and welcome to Taffy Crafting. My name's Donna and I've got a really quick and easy project for you today that uses up any scrap paper. If you've been making a project um, this, and you've got a lot of scrap paper left, this project um, is ideal for those little bits of scrap that you've got. So um, what I've started off with here is two pieces of paper that are, or card, that are one inch by four inch another two that are one inch by six inches and then another two that are one inch by eight inches and what we're going to be making is a heart garland and I'm going to show you how to make one of the hearts um, so what I'd originally started off with I'd gone on Pinterest and I saw this project by um, this website that was called ribbons and glue um, and so I came up with that and that was a direct copy of what they'd done but I just thought that this middle heart just wasn't sitting right and it had this middle stem going up which meant that you could hang it if you wanted to which was quite nice but I couldn't get that middle heart to sit properly so I had another stab at it and it was just not working that it was just losing its shape so then I tried it with some stiffer card and then we got that which is a bit sad and the card was trying to um, to crease rather than just bend so scrap that and then I was playing with some other shapes of these hearts as well and then we got fat heart and I didn't like that either so eventually I managed to get to um, to these hearts here that I made into a garland and um, they look a whole lot better so this is how I how I made that and I'll show you how to make one and then I'll show you how I how I put it together to get to um, to get to the garland so the first thing we start off with is our six pieces of paper I'll try and get that in shot six pieces of paper and on the four by one pieces you've got some um, double-sided tape at the top of the front and then some double-sided tape at the bottom on the back and you only do that for one of those for the six by one inch um, paper, you have double sided tape on both of them at the top at the front and on both of them at the bottom at the back. And then exactly the same for the eight by one inch double sided tape at the top at the front and then at the bottom at the back. So this is how we assemble it and it's really quick. Start with the, um, let's get those out of the way, start with the four by one inch. So I'm going to take this tape off at the back. I've got no nails at the moment. It's really difficult sometimes to pick this off when you haven't got any nails. Right, and then you are just going to join the two together like that. Get it as straight as you can. And so you're left with that. Fill the backing strip of your tape and then you're going to bend this in into the middle try not to crease your paper and join the two together like that squeeze it tight just give it a little bit of a bend just to manipulate it into shape and then we've got our first heart then take your two six by one inch strips, take the backing off the back tape on one of the strips. And you're going to take that so the sticky bit is on that side and you're going to stick it to the bottom of your first heart. And then with this one, the top of this, you're going to bend it over, don't crease it, and then just push that into the middle as far as it will go, and then just give that bottom heart a bit of a squeeze then to um, to stick that to the to your first heart. You've got to be really careful when you're putting this together to make sure that that card does not crease. This is why it doesn't work with the thicker card, because it just wants to crease. Um, slightly thinner card is much better 
Um, and you're going to do exactly the same on the other side with the other piece of card. So on the other side of the heart, stick that together there. And then bring this one round, push it into the middle there so it's sticking to the other side of that second heart. And then just give it a little manipulation to get it more heart shaped. And then we do the same all over again with the 8 by 1 inch strips. I'm going to stick that to the bottom there. Being very careful with your paper, you can't be too heavy handed with it because it will crease. Push that into the middle. Be very careful with that first heart because we're bending it around so much at the moment that first heart just wants to start to crease. And then the same on the other side. I just while I'm doing this, this is nice in Christmas paper, so this is why it's gone on my Christmas projects um, playlist. But you could do this in any paper you like, um, so that it matches um, a bedroom. I think this would be really pretty for a girl's bedroom, or um, it'd be nice hanging from a window, whatever you like really, in any colours that you like. And then just carefully bend that round, push that down into the middle as far as it will go. Give that then a bit of a squeeze there to make sure that it sticks. And there we have our heart. Which I think looks quite pretty. So what I then did to turn it into a garland is that using a braddle, not a hole punch, hole punch is too big, using a braddle I just put um, a hole just on the sides here and then I threaded some string through there. You could use ribbon, ribbon might look a bit better than the string, that's all I had to hand, um, but we've got some lovely ribbon that see that matches that paper so coordinating if I could say it properly um, ribbon would look lovely with that and um, you'll be able to see that I've got a picture um, on the front of this video of what this looks like in situ um, so that's my heart garland um, I just wanted to show you something at the end as well about how I got my one inch strips um, using the stamping up paper trimmer um, which is a really handy piece of kit. I'm just going to sort out my camera so you can see see it in full. So this is the paper trimmer and it not only um, trims paper and cuts it, it also scores it as well. So it's a bit of a multi-purpose tool. And let me show you how easy it is to trim paper. So I've got a piece of paper here and I might want to trim this to um, two inches or I haven't got enough for three inches, but say if I wanted a two inch strip of paper, I'll line that up to the top, make sure it lines all the way down, fold down the paper guard or the blade guard, and a perfect sheet of paper. It's ideal um, if you don't have to get the ruler out and start penciling lines and things like that. It also has an extension to it as well, so if you have some paper that's longer than six inches, we can do that. So if I wanted to turn that piece of paper, which measures nine and a bit inches, if I wanted to trim that to, let's say, eight inches, I just line that up to the number eight, push it up against the guard here, close it, trim it. Super quick. I might want to put a score line in here so that I can fold it. So it could be that I could put that in there. So this is two inches but maybe I want a score line at one and a half inches. So I would push that up to this barrier here, get the blade out of the way, and then just score that with a paper scorer. 
take it out and we've got a beautiful score line which can then just be a very accurate score line. So a great piece of kit um, to not only trim your paper and to cut it to size accurately with right angles, which is always quite difficult to do, but also to get perfect score lines as well. I'll leave a link um, in the description bar below. So um, if you wanted to have a look at that, um, then you can do. Um, so I hope you like the paper garland or the heart garland um, project. Um, love to hear your comments to see if you've had a go at that. And um, if you want to see further videos, please don't forget to click the subscribe button um, and leave a like if you liked this video. Thank you ever so much. See you again soon. Bye bye.